features and uh, uh, we have the third uh, portion of this um, of the sample was associate professors the same amount was uh, as assistant professor and uh, the least professors uh, there were 70 percent and lectures Alpha, so then you how can the Finnish higher education answer the demand of work life for creative minds to solve those problems in society and businesses? From a semiotic point of view, we have uh, only um, semiotic rules and systems and semiotic systems. Well, thank you very much, Walter, for me. Uh, this was a very, very uh, interesting, uh, productive uh, 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 contribution productive in the sense that it really allows us to kind of keep thinking and talking and also disagreeing perhaps. Uh, I mean the idea of semiosis, semiotic activity as being a kind of the process of adaptive uh, adaptation that we talk about. Uh, so we um, made some um, assessment tests. Uh, there were 112 assessment tests and uh, 83 uh, exam papers. So I will talk about about it a little bit later. And here on this slide, uh, you can see uh, that uh, the number of students uh, with the uh, level of English uh, increased uh, for us uh, dramatically. So for us, it was uh, a significant um, success uh, because uh, you can see, for example, the same number of students of A1 level. So they improved their level to A2. And so we were uh, very proud of this uh, uh, small success, maybe, for us. And uh, here this slide uh, shows uh, the results of exam papers. Uh, in experimental group, uh, we had uh, only, out of 65 students, we had only two good marks. But, but what about you? Do you use uh, it in your class? Yes, uh, I, I do use it. So I teach uh, the graphic design and uh, I teach how to uh, create presentation by using different multimedia platforms. So uh, when I asked uh, uh, students to, um, uh, or to uh, about this assignment, so I uh, um, make it as a TED, as a um, competition. Do, do you know TED? This is uh, the um, conference uh, how to, so different uh, um, persons compete and they make a pitch. So uh, I make like it, it pitching and they want um, to present themselves uh, really better than the others. So um, I make some kind of competition. It could be in the format of TED or Pitch of Culture, there are different Thank you, very interesting uh, experience, yeah. I think maybe you write about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure, interesting. the next topic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There's one, I should ask a question. Those of uh, semiotics of creativity. And uh, first of all, I would like to uh, say some words about my methodology, about uh, how I understand creative progress as a project of semiotic activity. Uh, then I would like to talk about incomplete and augmented technical object. And so finally, as a, uh, I would like to talk about transformation of uh, semiotic rules as a way of uh, developing art. Uh, so uh, our methodology is general semiotics, and we claim that every human activity is a sign-related activity. Uh, cognitive activity can be defined as a reception and interpretation of signs. It involves the knowledge of a pragmatic rule. And to describe it in the terms of semiosis, I think is, is, is very helpful. And also to see then technology and art as kind of complementary uh, sort of products of this, uh, of this uh, semiotic activity. And to ask uh, whether art is augmented technology or, or maybe in some ways incomplete technology. And you can ask the other way around too, whether technology is augmented art or, uh, uh, or uh, maybe incomplete art. But, uh, but uh, all these are extremely productive questions. But when you rely on Piotr Engelmeyer, uh, you also import some 19th century ideas, which I find a little strange. Uh, uh, and especially this, uh, this dominance, uh, this- One more. Uh, the next one. Okay, so yes, yeah. Maria Jakubicki will be the next. Yes, with the topic cultivating creativity case, higher well, education yeah. and field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay, welcome everybody to my presentation. I'm going to focus on higher education in Finland and how to cultivate uh, creativity.
The topics uh, will include uh, introduction of myself. Okay, actually, I introduced already myself in the, um, earlier, but anyway, the topic, introduction of the topic, and also I will focus on the research uh, design and uh, the case. Uh, context of the case uh, as the Finnish higher education demand for creativity, cultivating, and how to cultivate creativity. And there will be conclusions and implications question. And the uh, first one is why creativity is an important skill in the 21st century. And the uh, second one is how can higher education in Finland cultivate creativity of the future generations? So this is very briefly about the research design. It's a case study research approach it's an interpretivist philosophy, what I'm following in this paper. Uh, this is an exploratory approach and qualitative methods. Well, the key concept in my paper explained uh, and so I uh, make it as a TED, as a um, petition. Do, do you know TED? This is uh, the um, conference uh, how to so different uh, um, persons compete and they make a pitch. So uh, I make like it, it pitching and they want um, to present themselves uh, really better than the others, so um, I make some kind of competition. It could be in the format of TED or Pecha Pucha, there are different formats. Uh, thank you, very interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think maybe you write about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. sure, it could be the next topic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There's one I should ask a question. Um, affordable, because the funding is declining for public uh, public education um, and also um, the uh, elect, uh, selective uh, tertiary admission system in Finland is quite uh, quite complex and complicated so how to simplify that make easier to um, admit new students and also <clears throat> need for more internationally and competitive higher educational system so internationality in higher education in Finland should be uh, enhanced and increased. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, I'm pleased to answer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for your report. Maybe my question is not a real question, it's a kind of comment because uh, I had uh, a good chance to visit Laurel University uh, of Applied Arts, uh, the branches in uh, Kerava and the Huvinkaya. And uh, well, some years ago when I visited this uh, university, uh, I in fact never heard about the creativity or something like this. But uh, now, uh, after your report, after your report, I I I, I see that uh, they were very creative, and I think the Finnish higher education uh, well. It is, it is one of the best in Europe because they got a lot of special awards, I think, of excellence, something like this. Yeah? And uh, I should say that uh, I don't know why uh, the Finns are so creative. Maybe my stereotype was different before I visited uh, this university. Uh, they were very creative in everything. Uh, when I visited their classes, uh, we um, saw how they studied, their, their thoughts. Uh, and uh, uh, it is kind of, well, maybe it is just a simple project uh, studies, uh, but uh, the organization of this project learning uh, is um, very interesting because uh, there are three parties in this uh, project, the professors, the students, and the businesses. And uh, in fact, uh, this is just uh, the, the, um, the place where, where the students can uh, he taught how to think creatively. I think so. And one more, the last thing, it's, it's not a question, in fact, it is a, a, a comment. Uh, one more um, example of creativity, how do they uh, organize uh, um, uh, applying for the entry? How do they attract uh, new students? How it was organized in the, in, in the Laurier University? 
uh, they organized the, show, the, the so-called uh, showroom and it was the majority of our Russian universities. But at present students really have this opportunity and they do see this opportunity really important.